Hello, Gareth here. In this watercolour video, I'm going to show you how to do a simple watercolour sketch. And we're going to do a snow scene. So this is what we're going to paint, something like this. Now we're using just three brushes, a hake, a bamboo brush and a liner but mostly I want to focus on using this brush, a bamboo brush. And we're using only three colours, yellow ochre, alizarin crimson and talo blue. So the first thing we do is the sky and we just wet the paper. Now we use this hake brush because it soon wets the whole surface of the paper. And it doesn't have to be soaking wet, like that. Then I get my bamboo brush, I get a little bit of yellow ochre. And um, I'm just going to have that running down. Now this is just a sketch, so try to be a bit loose. Uh, have some fun and just um, don't get too rigid. Let some paint run down the paper. As you can see my paper is tilted so the paint will run down. Now I get a bit of Taylor blue and uh, here, here we go. Have that come down like that. And then I'm going to strengthen it a little bit, a bit stronger at the top, like that. And then I might just do some clouds. So I mix a little bit of red with a little bit of blue, a bit more, get a kind of purpley mix, a bit too purple, so I'll add some yellow ochre, a bit more, and it needs a bit more blue. Yeah, like that. And then let's just do, or just suggest a cloud or two, like that. And then at the bottom, maybe gray it off a little bit. Like that. So it's all very, very loose, light and simple. So I'm using good paper here, but I do a lot of this on, um, what's it called, um, like multimedia paper. And um, it's not as good as watercolour paper, true watercolour paper, but it's, it is, it does say that you can do watercolour on it, but it's not as absorbent, but it's cheap and it's half the price of watercolour paper. And um, when I paint on it, I just feel very free and not worried. And so I end up uh, painting a lot better than normal. And also there's a lot of um, things I learn in the process because I paint quite boldly on that kind of paper. And then you can take what you've learnt and apply it when you paint on really good paper. So I hope that's helpful. Okay, um, let's suggest a bit of snow down here. A few marks. So this is another kind of stroke we're doing now, which is a dry brush stroke. So I go across the paper very quickly. 
and then maybe here in the foreground. Add a lot of water and just make it a little bit darker here in the foreground. And then right here in this corner, darken it. Just a, a suggestion. It needs to be quite subtle, this. Maybe add a little bit of yellow ochre. That'll give us more of a gray. Okay. And now, soak up this paint here. And then let's leave this to dry. Now, the next thing we're going to do is paint a mountain in the distance. So this is just um, a light wash, bit of blue, yellow ochre, touch of red. bit more blue let's have a look maybe make it a bit stronger <laughs> so Yeah, okay. And if there are a few tiny white gaps in there, that's okay. And I'm not having this, um, what do you say, horizontal. I'm having it slightly slanted because I think that looks more interesting. And then fade it off, just use water. Just fade it off. There we go. And now it's time to leave that to dry. Maybe get some tissue and just wipe up a bit here. And soak up this water here. Try and give this edge at the bottom a bit of roughness, not too perfect, like that. Soak up the excess water. And there we go. Let's leave that to dry. Now I'm going to paint some fir trees here and then just one here. Now I did make a mistake. I really should have had my light sky area over here. And then, rather than over here, I could have the shadows going this way. So instead, I'll have to have the shadows going this way. But it should be okay, but we'll see. So here we go. So let's mix up a green, so some yellow ochre and blue and a touch of red. So there we go and then I'm going to do them about here. So here we go. That's one. And then here we go with the next one. Okay. 
Okay. And one more. There we go. And another one. I want all these joined together like a clump. There we go. And then another one here. Okay. And then a final one over here. So I think composition wise looks good. Okay. So yeah, something like that. And then let's do the shadows. So this kind of mix with a bit more red. I think that will do. And just a simple shadow. Or simple shadows. like that and then just a bit of a darker mix some blue some red it's a bit of a purpley mix and then just the bottom of here that's too too red possibly done this too strong but it will fade and just add a little bit of shadow to these trees like that was a bit too strong but there we go it will fade off a little bit when it dries So that's one thing I wanted to do. Then the next thing is I wanted to put a tree here. So I'm going to add a lot of yellow to this to make it brown. And then basically I'm going to, I don't want to make it too big. Begin about here and then go up here. So here we go. And then has to be thick at the bottom and get slowly thinner like that and then a branch here and then maybe another big branch here and one here oh that looks quite big doesn't it okay and then I can get my liner brush and just do lots of hairs, hairs, not hairs, twigs, small branches coming off this and do tend to go a little bit crazy. It, it ends up looking better normally. And some of the strokes are wrong, but overall, as long as you get most of them right, it will work. It's a lot of fun. There we go. That's quite nice. Don't want to overdo it. And then at the bottom, just a few hairs here. Like that. And let's give them some shadows. I mean... They should be really a kind of yellowy colour. So I might just, oh yeah, and the tree needs a shadow. Shouldn't forget that. There we go. So what I might just do is get some yellow ochre 
and just drop that in like that cheating and um, I'm going to have a fence going across here I think could be a bad idea but I just want to show you what you can do with your bamboo brush and your liner brush so here we go I should really let this dry over here but it is a sketch oh that's that that's too big but there we go and I'm trying to create a sense of perspective here it's a bit off but as long as it's fairly some of it w some of it is correct then or most of it is correct then it should work well enough now I'm using my liner brush and then some shadows yes yeah, so the angle is not so good here oh I don't know what that is oh yeah that's supposed to be a bit of this bit of wire or something so I use some tissue there just wipe that up there we go and then there might be little bits of grass coming out here and there just suggesting that and then they have some shadows okay and that's working fairly nicely now what we need is a figure so I'm putting my figure about here but let's leave that to dry first now let's paint a figure so basically I want a purplish kind of mix and I'll have my figure about here and this is going to be his head he'll come down to about here then uh, his body here and then one arm two arms I might make him a bit bigger so here we go touch bigger Let's try to do his um, legs. So for them, need to be thick paint. Needs to be thick paint. And here we go. One, two. So it looks a bit stiff, but it will do. Here's his hat. And here we're going to have a dog. Maybe a little bit in front of him. Here's its body. And its head. Okay. 
and I might just do a little bit of yellow for his hat. Like that. And maybe pure blue for his body. Or his top, rather. Like that. And then. Hmm, maybe this dog. Needs a little bit more working on. And then shadow. Here we go. So these shadows are coming forward like this. Okay, and then soak up some paint. Whoops. Some hands. And then leave that to dry. Okay, now I'm going to do the person's face, so a bit of yellow ochre, mix with a little bit of red, should give us a, a sort of skin colour, and it's quite thick mix, and uh, just put that there, and for his hands too. Just a touch. Okay, great. And then um, I guess there might be some marks in the snow from where they've walked, but they're not going to be that strong, I think. That's a bit too strong. But with my finger, I can just wipe them out a bit. And there we go, wipe them out too. Looks a little bit messier than I wanted, but it's okay. And then just in the sky, maybe just a few birds. A bit too big. And then maybe one more. Just three. So there we go, a very, very simple sketch of a snow scene using just three brushes. Mostly this bamboo brush, also a hake brush and a liner brush. So please have a go and happy painting. And if you would like to learn more, then I have a course using just these three brushes and these three colours and it is a very very thorough course. We'll paint about 11 different scenes. I'll show you how to mix your colours, how to do brushwork like this and also you'll find all the materials you need, how to lay out your materials and when you've done your painting you get the chance to send it to me and get a little bit of feedback on what, what's like the most important thing you need to change. So if you're interested in that, then there should be a link below this video. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Please have a go and happy painting.